Hello, my beautiful people. This is Carla with your Jammies. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's unboxing is going to be something that was on my wish list for a while that I found them on paperback. You guys know the book set. And uh, I was like, you know what? They look good on paperback, it's fine. But as I collect more book editions, most of them are hardcover. So I've been eyeing them for a couple of weeks and they were like $20 down on Amazon. I was like, you know what? This is a sign, I'm gonna go for them. And I'm really, really happy I did because wow. Wow. So this is the Bloomsbury 20th Anniversary Edition. Um, they have been out for a while. I honestly, when I found them, I love the covers when I found them on paperback. But I've also seen, you know, the beautiful gold foil. And I also have them like in Spanish on paperback. So I was wondering, you know, if I could find them in Spanish. Some people say yes, some people say no. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go for them and add them to my collection. So you guys want to see the inside of it? <laughs> I, oh, let's see. Whew. Yes, I feel they are so stunning and they are, make such a huge statement, way more than the paperback editions. Um, but the covers are beautiful nonetheless. Um, I did ask a couple of friends and they told me the hardest part would be getting them out of the box without damaging them. So that I had to like tilt it a little bit and then get them out so I wouldn't damage it. So thank you so much for that tip. I am going to, you know, start with number one. But if you guys see me like struggling a little bit, no, it's just because I do not want to damage the spine. Okay. They are all kind of out, so, okay. Let's start with number one. Whew. I, I feel they did such an amazing job. So apparently, and you guys correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, they did like an adult version of the 20th anniversary that is like neon colors, which I also ordered. So it will be here like in a week or two. They have like neon colors and it's like black and white, the drawings on it. And this was like the kids version for the 20th anniversary. I don't know if that's true or not, but I really love the kids one. Like the colors are so, so amazing. And I love the gold foil and how it looks together and the head wig with the letter in the back. So that was uh, Philosopher's Stone. Here we have that Dobby is the cutest. So here we have um, Chamber of Secrets. Really awesome um, basilisk with Fox there and Harry with the sword. Love that one. Here we have Prisoner of Asquin. I love this blue. I love, you know, how it comes like on um, an ombre design. You got the night bus there. Welcome to the night boats. Emergency transport for the Strider Witcher Wizard. Just stick out your hand one, your one hand, step on board, and we can take you anywhere you want to go. Okay, so they have like quotes in the back. Oh yeah. There's a plot, Harry Potter, a plot to make most terrible things happen at Hogwarts School of Witch. Okay, so depending on what is the drawing in the back, it has a quote. This was said by Dobby. So that is pretty cool. Okay, I'm loving them. So here we have Goblet of Fire. I'm telling you guys, in hardcover, they just look so, so much beautiful. I regret not getting this before. So here we have the Golden Trio, which, you know, out of all the things they could have put for Goblet of Fire, maybe the Triwizard Champions, they went with the Golden, golden Trio, which is just fine. There will be three tasks of spade throughout the school year, and they will test the champions in many different ways. Their magical powers, Pro was not the magical powers. Their daring, their powers of deduction, and of course, their ability to cope with danger. Okay. So let's see. Order of the Phoenix. Wow. So this orange color is like new for Order of the Phoenix because they usually go with like, you know, blue tones for it. We got Snape here. 
You are sharing the Dark Lord's thoughts and emotions. The Headmaster thinks it is inadmissible for this to continue. He wishes me to teach you how to close your mind to the Dark Lord. Okay, that's pretty cool, Snape. I see you. Okay. Next we have... Half-Blood Prince. Ooh. Okay. So you guys can see the scene in which Dumbledore and Harry are going for the locket. And then we have Draco in the back. And it says, there he was hanging in the sky above the school, the blazing green skull with a serpent tongue, the mark their eaters left behind whenever they had entered building, wherever they had murdered. Oof. Quite intense, love the colors. I truly love how bright this color is. Okay. Let me get it together. And last but not least, we have Deadly Hallows in a beautiful purple. This looks amazing. So the spines all have the same drawing has, which, you know, usually just put something different on the spine. They just put the same, which is fine. And here we got Hagrid looking pretty badass. And it says, give me Harry Potter, said Voldemort's voice, and none shall be harmed. Give me Harry Potter and I shall leave the school untouched. Give me Harry Potter and you will be rewarded. Eek! Okay, so I'm gonna put them all together in here. Um, as you guys can see, if you don't wanna damage the spine or you don't wanna damage the book at all, just till the box a little bit and that'll probably be the best tip <laughs> I can give you guys today to preserve your dust jackets because they are dust jackets so this is how the books which they look gorgeous we have dust jackets too but this is how they come so if you in order to preserve you know your investment and ta-da here you go one more look they really look great so now the real question is how am i gonna display them <laughs> i don't want like the box is awesome but i'll probably display the box this way and uh, oh i just noticed this is harry flying like escaping from the hungarian tail maybe yeah i think that's what it is so this is pretty cool so i'm not sure if i'm gonna display it this way and the books outside or i'm gonna display it this way and the books outside that i know that i want to be able to see these books all the time but i don't want to display it like this on my shelf <sighs> so that is it oh someone did ask me about if i could show the print inside i totally forgot about that so apparently there were some reviews saying that the print inside was all smudged and it couldn't be read. Um, I honestly, I have my one of my first copies, like the most basic one that I got maybe like six years ago. And uh, I, every time I'm gonna read it, I just touch those. I don't touch my other editions. So when it comes to actually looking at the print inside, I don't worry about it but some people just want to buy the set to actually read it so i totally get that um oh this is cool okay look at this this is inside of the half blood prince it has like a map that has hogsmeade hagrid todd the forbidden forest Wimpin willow greenhouses the Hogwarts castle quidditch stadium okay Anyway, I don't know if each book has like a map or illustration inside, but that would be cool. Um, so far, those two do not have any smudges on the print. It's um, readable and very clear. So, but then again, I feel, okay, apparently it does have that map maybe on every single book. Um, my prints look good. So if you are, you know, considering ordering them, I'm hoping, you know, the print, at least I ordered them through Amazon and they ship directly from Amazon. My print looks good. 
so no complaints on that yeah okay so that is my review i love them i wish i would have ordered them way sooner but i'm very very happy to add them to my collection so let me uh, know if you guys have this one if it's still on your wish list if you are good to go with the paperback editions which i don't blame you they're beautiful but i'm so happy to have this one oh i'll see you guys on the next one stay safe out there Bye bye